Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry, Brandon, but I, I heard you count off, and then I got scared. I've been really trying to keep it together. Yeah. We didn't talk about what this episode was about. I... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't tell Chad the full extent of our guests. I mean, uh, what up, posse? Fandom. Chad does. What's like up? Scary this is Brandon stuff. <laughs> and yeah. Mark. Matt. Got... Matt. As Captain Spaulding. As the captain. Doctor Satan. I don't uh, do horror very well. So you I'm do gonna do my sci-fi best. thriller at least. Yeah. Well, that's. You will do a sci-fi. Okay, I don't like clowns. You don't like clowns. I, they scare the hell out of me. You don't no like clowns? No one likes clowns. I mean, come on. Not even like the... the, the you don't like clowns. Harlequin ones. Yeah. Oh, those like, are the I, worst. I broke you up with this... You ever see Puppet Masters? Like, yeah. Like... Well, I broke up with this girl once because she had nothing but those Harlequins all over her walls. Well, that was the first... You should have just been out of there the, as soon as you saw it. <laughs> yes. I love your costume. Oh, my God. <laughs> right there. <sighs> Let's see a close up of that. Mark. So, you God. did you make that yourself? Did you make that? Yeah, oh. yep. and that's um, it's a, a dollar mask from Five Below, well, uh, get better, just Mark. a skull, and then yeah, I painted it and added the hat. I love, I gotta say, I'm scared, but I love the colors. Thanks, and thank you. I'll just change that camera. You used to go to the. Uh, don't to me anymore. You used to do like full makeup though, like oh, yeah. movie makeup, right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I whenever oh. I do this character, I do the full face makeup. Okay. And um, I just figured, you know, for a night, I'll try this new mask I made. It's and, uh, sweet. So you you nice. did makeup for a living, seat. or you just know your makeup? I just yeah, I I've done um, makeup for Halloween. God, for fun. I know, yeah, and then for like about five or six years, I worked at. Uh, Halloween store. Oh, fun. So that was fun. great because it was like, hey, here's stuff we want you to demo for the customers. And I'm like, oh, yep, nice. I can do that. So you really have a love of Halloween. Oh, yeah. Yep. I've always loved Halloween. I've always loved horror movies. Like when I was a kid, it was the Universal Monsters. Oh, sure, sure. The classics. Yeah. And then, and like Young Frankenstein. I remember seeing Young Frankenstein on yeah. Channel 9 as a kid and just. I flip and I loved it. So is horror your thing? Is that your shtick? Horror, Star Wars, and comic books. Yeah. I would say the three. I think that's the only, like, only way I know him through, like, before we actually started doing swaps and stuff, is the guy who was asking about Ewoks and horror stuff. But it was, like, all just the Ewok (laughs) playset. And uh, if you could get any... Well, that's, I think, I think Ewok is Lipinski. Lipinski likes the Ewoks. Yeah. Matt... Uh, designed but, a few of the posse swap yeah. posters, and then uh, early bird like our yeah. Thanksgiving mascot was Matt. Okay, he, um, and he made like a pu- we even got him on a uh, little bit of him on uh, with the puppet with early bird. Yeah, one of the yeah. Swaps. yeah. you're less scary to me. Yeah, not anymore. It's, all you no, gotta do is, is like you see the man behind the mask. He's like a he's like a friendly. <laughs> Stop judging clown. the book by its cover. <laughs> that reminds me of in college when I used to always wear a leather jacket, and for a while it had little spikes on the mm-hmm. shoulders, and it was great. I'd walk around, and apparently I always had like a just a mean look on my face, which to me is just you know Your I guess it's my look. resting yeah. face, but. A friend of mine later was like, you know, when we were talking, he's like, yeah, we always wanted to talk to you because we figured you were had similar interests, but you always looked like you were ticked off. Like, <laughs> like that was just my face. Yeah, and then they're like, I then we got to know you, there. and you're a wuss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah do okay. I take that leather jacket off, sir? <laughs> yeah, you haven't earned it. Uh, so wait, what part of Star Wars, are you into it all or just a certain part? Because for some reason I thought you were one of the Star Wars fans that just liked a certain section of yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, I would say section. Yeah, I was like four and a half when the first one came out. Okay. So, and luckily my brother, who's seven years older. Got into um, it you know, like took me to it. Cause I'm sure at four and a half, I wouldn't have known what, you know, yeah. what it was. And I just fell in love with it then. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm more of the original trilogy. Mm-hmm. Um, I certainly like the other six movies. Um, but it's interesting. But cause I was collect- talk- collecting wise, are you only Kenner? I'm pretty much focusing, you know, like I don't do, um, the original line a lot um i know there are a lot of guys in the posse who do the original and that's awesome but they're like, trying to get the whole first batch everyone's yep. like i just completed what is it the original what is it 27 or something something or, like that yeah yeah and i you know i like having the ones i had as a kid i still have the death star playset 
Oh, and really? I oh, I remember getting that for Christmas. That's oh. so it's becoming less and yeah. less scary the more we talk about more- Star Wars and sci-fi. <laughs> He's planning on all this stuff. I'm starting to, to feel better. <laughs> Good. I am. Yeah, Thank see, you. some clowns are okay. No. Some. It's a matter of perspective. <laughs> but, like, you kind of, around this time of year, like, your art, you, like, get all kinds of, like, Halloween props and, like, take them to that next level and, like... Yeah. Give them a little of an extreme look to it. Add some black wash or some blood or yep. a little gory to it. So. Make it look more more real, more movie like than just like a oh I got it at a store. Yeah, it's well, fun. It's fun. I'm sorry to interrupt oh, you, but ahead. it's fun to when people really get into horror and gore and things like that. I'm just not that that you know. I I like to see that for about a half a second. Go cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, and what's great is uh, the. The woman I'm dating and who I'll eventually marry, she, uh, it's hilarious because we have so many things in common, but yeah. she's just like, okay, when you want to watch horror movies, I'll go in the office. Dude, that's, <laughs> that yeah, is right? My bizarre. girlfriend is like, oh, like, cause I watch the corny ones, like VHS oh, okay. or like VHS yep. too. She's like, what are you watching? Yeah, like some I'm the same way. B horror movie. <laughs> like one of my, we were talking to, um, Brian and we were, t- I, one of my favorite horror movies because I'm not afraid of it is Return of the Living Dead. Oh, that you is know, so It's so great. funny, and yeah. it's campy, and it's, you know, I can go, uh, okay, I don't believe that. And The yeah. Thing, though, mm-hmm. The Thing is a pretty scary sci-fi movie. The one from the 80s? Yeah, with Kurt yeah. Russell. I don't really the think thing. that's too scary. Unless you know Dutch, oh, and then you know the beginning. I, like the get it. I think it's more suspenseful. that, uh, the hot nail in the blood and it like ah. okay that was cool that yeah. was cool well, i don't think when, that's scary though yeah when it's just kurt russell and the other dude and they're like which one is it oh, yeah <laughs> like, that's, I, pretty that's the suspense that i like in well it. and what's funny is i've always talked to when i talk horror with people i always say you know everyone has different ideas of what scary is yeah. because i i remember talking to someone i used to work with and she was like oh yeah i saw the new halloween i was like have you seen the original she said no, you know, and I said, oh, I'll lend it to you. I've got about five copies. I can lend you one. <laughs> she, and then finally she returned it and I said, so what'd you think? And she's like, ah, so slow. Oh, really? It's boring. Oh, and, well, yeah. and I think that it's kind of generational, but it's just I some people love the... jump scares. Some right. people love yeah. the gore. Personally, for me, I don't mind any of that. I love it all. But to me, the best ones are like The Thing or yeah. Alien or Halloween where they don't build see the, suspense. And you don't see the actual violence. You see the result. Right. Like in Halloween, yeah. you don't see him actually right. like a knife go into somebody. You just see him go like that. And, and then, then it's blood like, splatter. Well, yeah. and you, and like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I was just talking yesterday to a posse member. It's so great. I was like, uh, went over and checked out Frank's, Frank Onorati's, um poster collection oh, we nice. were talking horror movies and it was funny because we were talking about texas chainsaw massacre another favorite of mine and how the stars of the film would always mention how like you know when people would find out they were in that movie like oh and that was so how'd they do that when the chainsaw went through you or how they do it when the hook mm-hmm. went through you and everyone said you never saw anything go into anyone it was in just... that it was all implied but it was so well done and that is something i love is that yeah, it's fun to see the gore. Left it up to your imagination. Though. Yeah. Yep. Can you grab that movie real quick? I just want to see what he thinks of that movie. One of my favorites. One of the things that I will watch is not scary to me. You know, it's funny is that I just Charlton watched... Charlton Heston, the Omega Man. I watched the previous Go ahead, uh, incarnation of this. Um, the, oh, uh, the Last, Last Man, Man on, on Earth. Earth. Yeah. Um, and that is with Vincent Price. Yep. And it's like slow-moving zombies that, you know, they kind of are, you know... But it was also the book called Last Man on Earth, which is a really, really dark book. Yeah. And he talks about doing a bunch of pills and drinking and going out on that, killing zombies. And I mean, it's a, I wholeheartedly recommend that book. I mean, I really do. But this is one of those movies that, you know, they're, they're more campy and fun. And I like the soundtracks That's of the a 70s. Great movie. It's not what you'd expect as a traditional horror movie, but it could be considered a horror movie, but it's more like a sci fi, like a. Well, it's, you know, well, it's own category because it's scarier a, than. Yeah. I didn't like I Am Legend because of the fact that all of the zombies were a, a CGI. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah. rather. And they were all vampires. <clears throat> yeah. Things. Yeah. And yeah, that whole. I mean, I own dogs, so I didn't like the whole dog parameter of them being injured and stuff. Mm-hmm. I just. Yeah. Uh, that's just me. Um, did you bring some stuff for us? Oh yes, I did. So. Um, and, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna leave wanna... these. He's gonna leave these up around Chaz. <laughs> yeah. Chaz, I'm really excited. 
I have to go get one from your bedroom that I yeah. took. Oh. Like, no. um, well, I'll we'll never go up there again. It kind of seemed like you guys do kind of like new purchases kind of at the front of the show or yeah. talk about like current stuff. So I figured I'd just bring like the thing I'm I'm super excited these for. These are pretty and, cool. I've seen your pictures of these. Yeah, so this is uh, Ripley from NECA's 40th anniversary oh. alien line. Is that a McFarlane? And this is, no, it's NECA. Oh, NECA, I'm so, sorry, I wasn't listening. No, that's right. Um, and what's really awesome is even just the packaging is a throwback to the packaging that Kenner did because they actually made an 18-inch alien toy back when the first movie oh, came nice. out. Oh. And I guess the story goes is that Kenner thought, oh, science fiction. Like, yeah. Star Wars did so well for us. Why don't we go ahead and, you know, do a toy line, to, a toy line for this movie? Uh, but then there, it's like, oh, it's R-rated. It's violent. Uh, maybe this isn't for kids. Yeah. Yeah. So well, they, they had a toy line for the thing, right, too? like <laughs> Well, they? eventually later, yeah. yeah. Oh. But what's great is, yeah, Alien, they made the 18-inch figure, and it was great because the jaw could come out. You look up the the commercial on YouTube because it's and hilarious. You said Kenner did it too. Yeah. Yep. Okay, nice. And so what's really cool is Kenner originally was going to do a three and three quarter inch line of alien figures to go kind of in scale with Star Wars. Yeah. And it was the same five points of articulation, um, photo card, all that. And then you know again, I think either they wised up or Fox. You know, someone said we're not going to put out the figures. Um, they did put out a board game. They put out other stuff. You know, like just crazy. Again, it's like here's a essentially a, a science fiction horror film. Yeah. Yes. Um, that is amazing. But so what's really great though Ridley is Ridley Scott. Yeah. In yeah. space. No so we're gonna put scream. out a board game, but we're not gonna do action figures. Right. Well, okay. and that what was what was great is, and then so here's Parker. Oops. Swamps. That's Ripley's uh, flamethrower. Oh, cool! It's just like NECA nails it with the details. They just do um, such an amazing job. The likenesses are amazing. This is Yafit Koto as yeah. um, Parker. And what I love is eventually when he's standing next to Ripley, you'll see that they even got like the height uh, differences. And you know they didn't just do okay; they're all the same right. same height. Um, and yeah, like again, the equipment, the detail is. I was amazing. impressed by how well she st stands up. Well, yeah, and that's another. I mean, there are just so many reasons I love Mecca as a toy company, but it's just the likenesses, the durability of the figures. They did have problems early on. I know originally they were using clear plastic for the joints, and clear plastic, I guess, is much more brittle than other plastics. <clears throat> yeah, so a too. lot of. In fact, my... Um, mm. Thus, the Micronauts failed so quickly. Oh, from, really? From the 70s, the, yeah. They, then they went from hard plastic to clear plastic parts. Oh, Way I to lied. go, Mark. I lied. <laughs> I lied. It's really nice of you but to uh, wreck his stuff. What was really cool is even before these came out, um, so going back to the Kinner line, what was amazing is like seven or eight years ago, maybe ten now, Super 7 got the the rights to basically take... And I can't remember if they actually got the molds or what, but basically they put out the figures that Kenner was going to put out. So they okay. got they the were reaction able to figure put, things. Yeah, the yeah. Reaction so like they sold in the molds or something. Some like they probably that, bought it or they bought with the, the licensing prototypes and then you know. But yeah, they're and then that is um, Brett, um, yeah. who infamously gets uh, taken out by the alien while Jonesy the cat is cowering from afar if you yeah. pull that back mark it looks like murdoch from from uh, the 18 A -team. <laughs> it does <laughs> <laughs> well that was my favorite character from alien and uh, murdoch was always my favorite on the 18 do we so. know this actor's name that played this guy harry dean stanton harry dean yeah, stanton and that, was it, i was pink. gonna say it looks just like his yeah. likeness is yeah. pretty on point he's got his posture in there almost it's kind of oh yeah kind of creepy that, in a way he was in uh Marvel's, uh, well, not Endgame, but the one before that, Infinity he War. He is like, what was he? The Hulk, like, smashed. No, maybe he was in the Hulk. He smashed through, like, a building or something, and he's like, I got 
out of condition. He's like, boy, you got a lot more than. A oh condition. yeah, no, that was like the oh, Avengers. Like that was like yeah, the first no. Avengers yeah. when he falls when he falls from the hel- helicarrier. Oh, yeah. I didn't. Re- okay. okay, that was wow. just cool that they had had him in that. And you know, yeah. oh, give him a little cameo, not well, yeah. a cameo, but. And then the last accessory I was just going to show off was what makes Ripley amazing. So that's the cat carrier with no. Jonesy in it. And what's even better, I'll show you how you can open it up. Um, take Jonesy out, and they even Bam. have Jonesy. No. Jonesy is poseable by the neck. They didn't do what? everything else. There's a little articulation in the neck. Yep. Creepy. So it opens up in a cool way, and then the head can pivot, and so that you know, as soon as I can dig out my alien figure, um, I'm going to use it with my new neck uh, nice. clear plastics. Um, you know, like the in the air stand. They yeah. Have. And I'm gonna have the alien coming down, Jonesy cowering, and oh, and, okay. uh, and it spins all the way around those, like The Exorcist. You can get one of those Just extreme about, yeah, So you could do like a weird oh, uh, that, pet cemetery thing. <laughs> you make him yeah. all black or you something. Do, yeah, exactly. You could always get Jonesy and uh, put him with uh, Goose from yeah. Captain Marvel. This yep. is what I this is what I like about about being creative with. You know any kind? I mean, these are obviously not made for kids. So this comes with two of these. But for collectors, yeah. this is kind of awesome. Well, and it's you know, like I said, kind of the history was they were going to make figures when the movie first came out. They made the eighteen inch, and what was great is that I don't think lasted long in stores because parents were like, ah, you know, it's, oh. it kills people, and it's an alien. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so they didn't movie. want it. Um, I get that. But then what's great is you know the movie just. You know, it took off in its own way, and especially every anniversary, it just gets, it still blows my mind. It's 40 years now, but mm-hmm. um, it's just, it's still, I watched it the other day, and it still holds up. Yeah. It's still so great, and I think there are people our age who are just like, I would have loved these 38, yeah. 39 years ago, and... You know, so now it's like, yeah, I'm for. I just turned forty eight. It's like, yeah, I'm getting these. You yeah, know. why not? The first, I will say, the one thing that you know, if anyone from NECA ever watches this, I love this stuff, but please put out the other three characters in their civilian clothes. They're going to put out Ash in the next series. Okay. And he was the android who yeah. tries to kill oh, Ripley. Yeah, yeah. And what's great is the figure even comes with the rolled up magazine. Oh no. <laughs> But, and then obviously the optional uh, severed head with the milk all over it. Oh, um, that's yeah. right. He, that's, yeah. They bash his head off. I and, forgot about that. But the bummer is the other three characters um, have only ever been released in their spacesuits, which are cool looking. Oh, that's yeah. really nice. But, you know, they've done such a great job with these. And then when Ash comes out, it's like you want them all in their civilian or whatever. Yeah, you like the first movie, clothes. right? Yeah. Yep. These are really cool. Yeah, and I, I was going to say is not only I was just revisiting Alien Three. Oh, nice! And I I like that. I don't know why, but there's something about like being in prison, being stuck with these aliens. Um, some of the effects were pretty dated, but I mean the plot wasn't bad. Well, and I guess there is like an unreleased cut, and I can't remember if they are going to release it as the movie or if they're just releasing like the script but yeah apparently alien 3 because i want to say that was david fincher that did that and it was one of his very early films like and 96 97 somewhere so around there and he was earlier than that maybe 95 but yeah. I, I know that like he was very upset with how they changed it mm-hmm. so apparently the stuff that he you know would put back in would make it even better Oh, okay. I got to say two things. One, um, I, I appreciate you coming by. And two, thank you because this is the longest I think I've ever talked to a clown in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you're healing me in some way. Curing phobias. And we're at 19, so obviously we're at. Do you want to stick around for another one? He's yeah. got a lot yeah, of stuff. You got more? Stuff. Oh, yeah. Wait, don't oh, look behind got... you, Chad. Yeah. Part two. Don't look uh, I'm, you. you know, as long as he keeps treating me yeah. like I'm not a zombie, we're good. You know? Part two. And as soon as this cuts out, we're going to cut back to missing Chad. <laughs> we got the milk carton with the yeah. photo. Yeah, right. I need an adult. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Peace.